Welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can use the fact of a function being either odd or even to aid us in integration. Namely, we're going to look at f of x is equal to sine x. And recall, this is an odd function. So algebraically, what this means is that f of negative x equals negative f of x. What it means geometrically, visually, is that this function is symmetric about the y-axis, so we can rotate it in this direction and get something that's symmetric. OK, so now let's actually look at a graph of sine x. And we're going to look at this between negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. And I'm just going to sketch it out a little further. So we can really see what's going on. So say this is pi, this is negative pi. Well, sine is going to do this. So here's the graph of sine. And this is negative pi over 2 here. This is pi over 2, negative 1, and positive 1. So as you can see, if you were to rotate this, you'd get the exact same picture. So again, pause this video and hold on to this part of your paper that I'm circling and move it so that this arrow is here and you'll see that this purple graph is the same. Okay, so now let's go ahead and use this graph, this graph from negative pi over two to pi over two of sine x. Let's use this graph we have here to integrate this. And remember, this, um, an integral represents the area of, under a curve. Uh, moreover, it represents the signed area under a curve. So if an integral is positive, that tells you there's more area on the top. If it's negative, that tells you there's more area on the bottom. And now we're interested in, well, we're interested in just this portion. Okay, so I've highlighted the portion that we're interested in. Now my poor sketch aside, this region here and here, so these curved regions, which I didn't make so look so curved, there we are, look like they're an equal size. And this one is below the x-axis, so this is a negative signed area telling us that there is more of the curve, more area between the x-axis and the curve that's below the x-axis. And then this portion here is above the x-axis, so that means this is positive, telling us that there is more of the area between the x-axis and the curve above the x-axis. So since this is an odd function and this interval of integration is symmetric here, we can use that to integrate this as 0. Now, if you want to work this out algebraically, You can go ahead and integrate to get negative cosine x evaluated from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2, which is just negative cosine, excuse me, negative pi over 2 plus cosine negative pi over 2. These are all just 0. So we have 0. Using symmetry is much easier. And if you're really concerned, you can write by symmetry if you're really concerned about showing some extra work.